Hello everyone, the purpose of this video is to share the audio and to those who are aspiring to take the exam in PMP. I have searched over the internet uh, if someone prepared an audio in Pinbo guide, but I failed to see. Um, to get familiar with the Pinbo, I prepared this audio to let members or new aspirant for the for aspirant for PMP exam who wants to hear why they are working this is a book of knowledge and a book of leaders so let's start with the guide the pin book is a sixth edition and there's a three parts I see in this pin book sixth edition the part one is a guide to project management body of knowledge and pin book guide. So in part one, there's an introduction, the environment in which project operate. Number three, the role of project manager. Number four, the project integration management. Number five, project scope management. Number six, project schedule management. Project Number seven, project cost management. Number eight, project quality management. Number nine, project resource management. Number 10, project communication management. Number 11, it's project risk management. Number 12, project procurement management. And number 13, project stakeholder management. So the part two contains the standard for project management. So there's an introduction, number two, initiating the process group, number three, planning, planning, process group, then number four is the executing process group, number five is the monitoring and controlling process group, number six is the closing process group. So the part three is the appendixes, the glossary, and index. So let's start with the introduction. Okay. So let's go with the introduction. To overview and purpose of this guide, the project management is not new. It has been used for hundreds of years. Example of project outcomes includes Pyramid of Gaza, Olympic Games, Great, Great Wall of China, Taj Mahal, Publication of Children's Book, Panama Canal, Development of Commercial Jet Airplanes, Polio Vaccine, Human Beings Landing on the Moon, Commercial software application, portable device to use in the global positioning system, GPS, and placement of the International Space Station in Earth's orbit. The outcome of these projects were the result of leaders and managers applying project management practices, principles, process, tools, and techniques to the work. The managers of these projects used a set of key skills and applied knowledge to satisfy their customers and other people involved in and affected by the project. By the mid-20th century, project managers began to work of seeking recognition for project management as a profession. One aspect of this project involved obtaining agreement on the content of body of knowledge book, BOCK, called project management. The BOK became known as project management book, body of knowledge, TIMBO. The project, the project management institute, PMI, produced a baseline of chart and glossaries of Pimbo. Project managers soon realized that no single book could 
contain the entire PIM book. Therefore, PIM, I developed and published a guide of project management study of PIM knowledge. PIM book guide. PMI defines the project management body, body of knowledge as term that describes the knowledge within the profession of project management. The project management body of knowledge includes proven traditional practice that are widely applied as well as innovative practices that are emerging in the profession. The body of knowledge, BOK, includes both practices and in published materials. This body of knowledge is constantly evolving. This PIM book guide identifies a subset of project management body of knowledge that is generally recognized a good practice. Generally, recognized means the knowledge and practice described are applicable to most projects most of the time and there is consensus about their value and usefulness. Good practice means there is general agreement that application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques the project management processes can enhance the chance of success over many projects and delivering the expected business values and results. The project manager works with the project team, project team and other stakeholders to determine use the appropriate generally recognized good practice for its project, determine the appropriate combination of process, inputs, tools, techniques, outputs, and life cycle phases to manage a project is referred to a tailoring. The application of knowledge described in this guide. The PIM book guide is different from methodolo methodology. Methodology is system of practice techniques, procedure, and rules used by those who work in discipline. The PIM book guide is foundation upon which organization can find can build methodologies, policies, procedures, rules, tools, techniques, and life cycle phases needed to practice project management. Let's go to one that one that one the standard project management. The guide is based in standard project management. Standard is the document established by authority custom or general consent of more example as an American National Standard Institute, ANSI standards. The standard for project management was developed using a process based on the concept of consensus, openness, due process, and balance. The standard of project management is foundational reference to PMI project management, professional development programs, and practice of project management. Because project management needs to be tailored to fit the needs of the project, the standard and the guide are both based on descriptive practices rather than pers prescriptive practices. Therefore, the standard identifies the processes that are considering good practices on most projects most of the time, the standard also identifies the inputs and outputs that are usually associated with those process and standards does not require any particular process of practice be performed. The standard for project management is included in part 2, a guide of project management body of knowledge guide. The PIM book guide provides more details about key concepts, emerging trends, 
consideration for tailoring of the project management process and information of, on how tools and techniques are applied to projects. Project managers may use one or more methodologies to implement the project management process outlined in the standard. The scope of this guide is limited to discipline of project management rather than full spectrum of portfolios programs and projects. Portfolios programs will be addressed only to the degree they interact with projects. PMI published two other standards that address the management of portfolios of programs, the standard of portfolio management 2 and the standard of program management 3. So let's go 1.12, the common vocabulary. The common vocabulary is essential element of professional discipline. The PMI lexicon of project management terms provide the fundament foundational professional vocabulary that can consistently used by organization for policy program and project managers and other project stakeholders. The lexicon will continue to evolve over time. The glossary to this guide includes the vocabulary and lexicon along with additional definitions. There are many other industry specific terms used in project that are defined that by by that industry's literature so let's go to 1.1 thus 3 of introduction the code of ethics and professional conduct the pmi okay there's no the pmi publishes the code of ethics and professional conduct is to instill confidence in the project management profession to help an individual in making wise decisions, particularly when faced with difficult situations where the individual may be asked to compromise his or her integrity of values. The values that our global project management community define the most important were responsibility, respect, fairness, and honesty. So, honesty is there. The Code of Ethics and Professional conducts, Conduct affirms these four values of its foundation. The code of, the code of Ethics and Professional Conduct includes both aspirational standard and mandatory standard. The aspiration standard describes the conduct and the conduct and that practitioners who are also PMI members, certification holders, or volunteers strive to uphold, although adherence to the aspirational standard is not easily measured conduct in accordance with this in an expectation of those for those who consider themselves to be professionals. It is not optional. The mandatory standards establish firm requirements and in some cases limit or prohibit practitioner behavior. Practitioners who are also PMI members, certification holders, or volunteers and who do not conduct themselves in accordance with these standards will be subject to disciplinary procedures before PMI ethics review and Review Committee. So, 1.2 Fundamental Elements of Introduction. The section describes foundational elements necessary for working in and understanding the discipline of project management. 1.2.1 The Projects. So, the project. So, the definition of projects is the project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product, service, or result. So, unique product, service, or result 
projects are undertaken to fulfill objectives by producing deliverables, an objective in defined as an outcome toward which work is to be directed a strategic position to be attained, a purpose to be achieved, a result to be obtained, a product to be produced, or a service to be performed. A deliverable is defined as any unique and verifiable product, result, or cap capability to perform a service that is required to, to be produced. To complete a process, phase, or project, deliverables may be tangible or intangible. Fulfillment of project's objectives may produce one of more or more of the following deliverables. A unique product that can be either component of another item, an enhancement or correction to an item or a an new and item in itself. Example, the correction of a defect in, in an end and item. A unique service or a capability to perform a service. Example, a business function that supports production and distribu or distribution. A unique result such as an outcome or document. Example, research project that develops knowledge that can be used to determine whether a trend exists or new process will benefit society and a unique combination of one or more product service result example software application it is associated with documentation and help test services Repetitive elements, uh, those are those that uh, unique product service is under the projects, the projects temporary in D4. That is the definition of the project. So let's go, to this, let's proceed. Repetitively, repetitive elements may be present in some project deliverables and activities this repetition does not change the fundamental and unique characters characteristic of project work for example office building can be constructed with the same or similar material by the same or this or different teams however its building project remains unique in key characters example location the design environment situation people involved projects are undertaken to all organizational levels a project can involve a single individual or group a project can involve a single organization unit or multiple organization units from multiple organizations so it's a project is a unique it cannot be repeated it can be same design but you know the time is not is different so it's still unique that's the definition of project examples of projects include by but are not limited to developing developing a new pharmaceutical compound for market expanding a tour guide service merging two organizations and forming a business process within a, an organization Acquiring an installation, installing a new computer hardware system for use in an organization, exploring for oil in a region, modi modifying a computer software program used in organization, conducting research to develop 
a new manufacturing process and and construction of constructing a building so that's still under the project those are the examples so it says the project is a temporary endeavor let us read why the temporary endeavor nature of projects indicates that a project has the defined beginning and end so temporary endeavor it has a beginning and end that's the definition of project Temporary does not necessarily mean a project has a short du duration. The end of the project is which when one or more of the following is true. The project objects, objectives have been achieved. The objective will not or cannot be met. Funding is exhausted or no longer available for allocation to the project. The need of project no longer exists. The customer no longer wants the project completed. A changed strategy or priority ends. The project and or the organization management provides direction to end the project. The human physical or physical resources are no longer available or the project is terminated for legal cause of convenience so it says temporary endeavor so those are in temporary endeavor projects are temporary but their deliverables may exist beyond the end of project projects may produce deliverables of social economic materials or ma environmental nature for example a project for built national monument will create a deliverables deliverable expected to last for centuries so let's go to project drive change there is um what is this so called There's so-called, uh, what's this definition here? Um, display. Another display. Can I show you this? Okay, that is page part one guide. I wanna show you the this. What the heck? something okay since this is a video is a copyright I don't want to show everything it, I might be you know, responsible for the copyright so all you have to do is you go to pmi.org and purchase this. Okay. So where is it? Projects drive chains. So the projects drive chains in organization from business perspective. A project is aimed at moving an organization from one state to another state in order to achieve 
a specific objective. See figure. I need to see the figure. Before the project begins, the organization is commonly referred to as being in current state. The desired result of the change driven by project is described as future state. For some projects, this may be involved creating transition state, where multiple steps are made along continuum to achieve the future state. The successful completion of project result in organization, moving to the future state, achieving specific objective. For more information, a project management change, see managing change in organization. A practice guide six. So this is the chart. The chart it says the business value and time. So this you will see the three that there is a current state. It goes to the future state. So the project objective activities is activity A, B, C, D, etc. So the projects drive changes, it says, in organization from project perspective and project aim and moving organization from one state to another state. So you will see that. So let's move on. So projects enable business value creation. The PMI defines business value as net quantifiable benefit derived from the business endeavor. The benefits may be tangible, intangible, or both. In business ana analysis, business value in Consider is considered the return and form elements such as time, money, goods, and intangibles in return for something exchanged. See business analysis for practitioner. Business value is a project refers to the benefits that results of specific project provide to its stakeholder. The benefits from projects may be tangible or intangible or both. Example of tangible elements includes monetary assets, stockholder equity, utility, fixtures, tools, and market shares. Example intangible includes goodwill, brand recognition, public benefit, trademarks, strategic alignment and reputation so those are the business enabled value creation so let's go to the project initiation content organizational leaders initiate projects and in for in response to factors acting upon their organization there are four fundamental categories for fact for this Factors. This illustrates the content of project. So, see figure 1.2. So, let's hide again. It's 1.2. Project initiation content. The organization leaders initiate projects in response to factors acting upon their organization. There are four fundamental categories for these factors. So, project initiation content, there are four fundamentals which illustrate the context of project. So, metric, regulatory, legal, or social requirements. 
satisfy stakeholders here satisfy stakeholders requests or needs implement or change of business technical or technological strategies and create improve to fix products processes or services The factors influence an organization's ongoing operations and business strategies. Leaders respond to these factors in order to keep the organization vi viable. Projects provide the means of the organization to successfully make changes necessary to deal with these factors. These factors ultimate should link to the strategic objectives of the organization, organization and business value of each project. Illustrates how example factors could align with one or more fundamental factor categories. So there is a there is an example of factors. So there's an example of factors, new technology, specific factors, example of specific factors. So lead the creation of the project. Meet regulatory, legal, or social requirements. Satisfy stakeholder request. Create improvement, fix products, process, and services. Aim Implement or change business or technological. So you may read that. Your technology comp competitive forces lower pricing of products. The competitors result in the need to lower production costs or remain competitive. It is sex. So this is the importance of project management. The project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques. So this is the importance of project management. Project management is application of knowledge, skills, and tools, and techniques to project activities to meet the project requirements. The project management is through the appropriate, appropriate application and integration of the project management process identified for the project. Project management enables organizations to execute projects effectively and efficiently. So that's the importance of project management. Effective management helps individuals, groups, and public and private organization to meet business objectives, satisfy stakeholders' expectation, be moved, productive, increase chance of success, deliver the right products at the right time, resolve problem and issues, respond to risk in a timely manner, Optimize the use of organizational resources, identify, recover, or terminate failing projects, manage constraints, example, scope, quality, schedule, cost, and resources, balance the influence of constraints of project, increase scope may, increase cost of product schedule, and manage change and a better manner.
So poorly managed projects or absence of project management may result in missed deadlines, cost of runs, poor quality, rework, uncontrollable expansion of the project, loss of reputation of the organization, unsatisfied stakeholder and failures in achieving the objectives for which the project was undertaken. Oh, that's bad. Projects are key way to create value and benefits in organization. In today's business environmental environment organization, leaders need to be able to manage with tighter budgets, shorter times, scarcity of resources, and rapidly rapidly changing technologies the business environment in the is dynamic with an accelerating rate of change to remain competitive and world economy companies are embracing project management to consistently deliver business volume Effective and efficient project management should be considered strategic competency with organizations, enables organizations to the project result to business goals, co compete more effective in their remarks and in, in their market, sorry, sustain the organization and response, respond to the impact of business environment changes on projects by appropriately under adjusting project management plan. See section 4.2. So, under the introduction is 1.23, relationship or project program portfolio operation management. Let's see the overview. more I'm still in the introduction so we're going to see the portfolio management So the program management is the program management defines as application of knowledge, skills, and principles to achieve the program. The importance of project management. So we are done today. That one. Okay, effective, efficient management. We are done with that one. Okay, relationship of project program portfolio and operation management. The overview. So we are now 1.12. Okay. We're still in the introduction. So the relationship of project program portfolio and operation management. So the overview, the using the overview. Using project management process tools and techniques puts in place a sound foundation for organization to achieve their goals and objectives. A project may be man managed in three separate scenarios as a standalone project outside the portfolio or program, within program, or within portfolio. Project managers interact with portfolio and program managers when a project is within a program or portfolio. For example, a multiple projects may be needed to accomplish a set goals and objectives for organization. 
In those situations, projects may be grouped group together into a program. A program is defined is defined a group of related projects, subsidiary programs, and programs active activities managed in a coordinated manner to obtain benefits nor available available from managing them individually. Programs are not large project. A large project may be re referred to a mega project. As guideline, mega project costs one billion or more. Effect an effect a million or more people in run of four years. Oh, that is a project portfolio. Relationship project program portfolio and preparations. Can I read again? Okay. Some organization may employ the use of project portfolio to effective manage manage multiple program and projects that are underway to any given time. A portfolio is defined as project program, subsidiary portfolios, and operation management and group of two active strategic objectives in figure 1-3. Illustrate an example how portfolio program projects and operation are related in a specific situation. So you will see the organizational strategy there. So in figure 1.3 illustrates an example on how police programs, project and operation are related in specific situation. Sample portfolio. Program 1, B. Program 2, portfolio. Program B, program C. Mm. This is shared resources and stakeholders, organizational strategy. Program management and portfolio management differ from project management. So program portfolio and portfolio management. Program, program portfolio. Let's take note of that. Program portfolio. Program portfolio and program management is different. So portfolio, portfolio. Portfolio A goes to C. Oh. Program management and portfolio management differ from project man differ from project management. Why? In their life cycle, so 
It says here program management program portfolio differs from project management and group life cycle activities. Objective focus and benefits. However, portfolio program projects and operations often engage with the same stakeholders at me. The same stakeholders. And may need to use the resources. This may result to conflict in organization. This type of situation increases the need of coordination within the organization through use the portfolio program. The project management to achieve the workable balance in the organization. So in the illustration 1 does 3, it illustrates the sample for poly structure indicating the relationship between the programs and project shared resources and stakeholders. The portfolio components are grouped together in order to facilitate effective governance and management for the work that helps to indicate to achieve organizational strategies and Priorities. The organization null and portfolio planning impact the components by means of pro, pro, prioritization based on list funding and other considerations. The portfolio view allows organizations to see how the strategic goals and reflect the portfolio. The portfolio view also enables the implement, implementation and coordination of appropriate portfolio program and project governance. This co coordinated governance allows project, allows our organized authorized allocation of human financial and physical resources based on expected for performance and benefits. If I cannot understand this. In figure three, one does three. Sample portfolio. So this is organization strategy. Sample portfolio. There are one A program A, B, and A. Program A, B, and A. Program one. Program A. Program B. Portfolio A. Portfolio A. Program B one. So shared resources and stakeholders. The portfolio commons are grouped together in order to facilitate effectively government govern governance, planning impact and comp components by means of prioritization based on risk funding and other consideration. The portfolio view allows organizations to see how the strategic goals and reflect and portfolio. This portfolio view also enables the implementation coordination of the perfect portfolio program. So those are sharing so it's shares share resource stakeholder. Looking the project program portfolio management from the organization's perspective, program project program project management focus on doing programs projects right way and portfolio management focuses doing right programs project and one does one one does one overview of portfolio programs. In table give table so there's a table here Let's show you table here 
portfolio management. Program management focus on doing programs. Right way. Program project management focus. Portfolio management. <laughs> Definition, scope, change, planning, management, monitoring, success. Project is temporary in people. Okay. So this is it. Organization project management. Definition of project is a temporary in people. Undertaken to create unique product service or output. So programs is a program is a group. Of related projects, subsidiary programs, and program activities that are managed in coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available for managing the individual. The portfolio is a portfolio is collection of projects, programs, subsidiary portfolio, and operation management as a group of achievement strategic objects objectives the scope is project hub defined is objective scope is progressively elaborated to the project life the scope programs the programs have a scope that in Compases the scope of its program components. Program produces benefits to an organization by ensuring that output and outcomes of program components are give, delivered in coordinated and complementary manner. Portfolios is the portfolio scope. Have organization a scope of change with the strategic objectives of the organization the change change project management expect change and implementation process to keep change managed and controlled so the program is program are managed in manner that is accepts and adapts to change as necessary of optimize to optimize deliver deliver delivery of benefits as a program components deliver outcomes and outputs so change in portfolio is manage managers continuous monitor change in the broader internal and external environment Planning. The project managers progressively elaborate high-level information of detailed plans throughout the project and cycle. So the programs are managed using high-level plans and track independencies and progress of program components. Program plans are also used in guide planning at the component level. So portfolio manage. Portfolio managers create and maintain necessary process and communication related relative to aggregate portfolio. So the management is the project managers manage the project team to meet project objectives. So in programs, programs are managed by program managers who ensure that program benefits are deliverable delivered as expected by coordinating and activities of program and components. Portfolio managers may manage or coordinate portfolio management staff or program and program staff and may may have reporting responsibilities into the ag aggregate portfolio monitoring project managers monitor and control and work 
producing the product service or results of the project was undertaken to produce program program managers sorry managers the progress of program components to ensure the overall goals include a schedule budget and benefits to the program will be met portfolio portfolio managers monitor strategic chains or aggregate resource allocation and resource and risk of portfolio risk success success is measured by product and project quality time timeliness budget compliance <coughs> degree of customer satisfaction and program the program success is measured by program ability to deliver its intended benefits to organization and by programs effective efficiency and effectiveness and in delivering those benefits success is measured in terms of the aggregate investment performance and benefit realization of portfolio so the program management is the program management is defined as application of knowledge skills and principles the program to achieve program management is defined as application of knowledge application of knowledge skills and principles To achieve the program objectives and to obtain benefits and control not available by managing program components individually. Independences within project to determine the op optical approach for managing the project. Project management focuses on independences between pro between between prog projects and between projects and the program level to determine the optima approach of managing teams action related to this program and project levels interdependencies may schedule aligning with the organization so this is program management, aligning of the organization of project strategic direction that affects program and project goals and objectives, allocating the program scope in program components, managing independences among the components of program and deserve program managing program risk that may impact multiple projects and program, resolving constraints and con that affects multiple projects within program resolving in issues between components projects and program level managing change requests within shared governance framework allocating budgets across multiple projects within the program and assuring benefits realization that programs and components projects an example of program and New communication satellites system with projects for the design and construction of the satellite and the ground station, the launch of satellites and integration of system. For information on program management, to see a standard for program management.
the portfolio management the portfolio management is defined as projects defined as project projects programs subsidiary subsidiary portfolios and operations manage as a group to achieve strategic objectives portfolio manage portfolio management is defined as the centralized management as one of the portfolio to achieve strategic objectives, the program of the projects of purple may be necessary to independent or directly related. The aim of purple management is guide organization decision. Ah, the aim, the purpose, aim, guide. Select the optimal mix of programs and projects to meet strategic objective, provide decision-making, transparency, prioritize team and physical resource allocation, increase uh, the, the likelihood of realizing and the desired return of investment, centralize the management of the aggregate risk profile of all components. Portfolio management also confirms that the portfolio is consistent with aligned with organization strategies. Maximizing the value of the value of portfolio requires careful examination of components that compri comprise the portfolio components are prioritized so that those contributing the most organization strategic objectives have the Required financial team and physical resources. For example, an infrastructure organization that has a strategic objective of maximizing the return of each investment may be together portfolio that includes mix for projects in oil, gas, power, water, roads, rails, airports from the mix and organization may be choose to manage related pro projects as one portfolio. All the power projects may be grouped together as a power portfolio. Ah. Similarly, all of the water projects may be grouped into water portfolio. However, when the organization has a project designing construction power plant, then operates the power plant to generate energy. Those related projects can be grouped into one program. Thus, the power program, similar water program, become integral components of the proposal. Information for poly management, see standard for poly management too. So, 1.2, 1.3, operation management. Operation management. What is operation management? Operation management is an area that is outside the scope of formal project management as described in, is this guide, in this guide. Operation management is concerned with the ongoing production goods or services it ensures that business operations continue operation efficiency by using optimal resources needed to meet customer demands and it's concerned with managing processes that transform inputs materials components energy labors into outputs, products, goods, and or services. 
Operation and Project Management Changes in business in organization operation may be focused on over project, especially when the there are substantial changes in business operation as a result, new product service delivery. Ongoing operations are outside of the scope of the project. However, there are interesting points where the two areas cross. Projects can in intersect with operation of various points during the product life cycle such as when developing a new product, upgrading a product, or expanding output. While improving operation of the product develop process, all the end of the product life cycle and each close-up phase. At each point, deliverables knowledge are transferable between the project and operations for implementation of the delivery word work the implementations of course through the transfer of project resource of uh, knowledge of operations or trans through a transfer operational resources to the project organizational project management organization opm and strategies for police programs and projects are aligned with a driven organizational strategy and differ in the way such contributes to achievement of, a, of a strategic goals. Portfolio management aligns for police with organizational strategy by selecting the right programs of projects, prioritize the work, and providing the needed resources. Program management. Harmonize in program components and controls and dependencies in order to realize specific benefits. Project management enables to achieve or organizational goals and organize in and objectives. Oh, there are three differences: the organizational project management (OPM) strategies, portfolio management. And projects are aligned with or driven organizational studies and differ in the way it contributes to the achievement of the strategic goals. For polio management, allies purpose with organization strategies by selecting the right program or projects, prioritizing the work and providing the needed resources. Program management harmonizes the program components, controls, and dependencies in order to realize specific benefits. Pro project management enables to achieve or organizational goals and, and objectives. Within portfolio of programs, projects are means of achieving organizational goals and objectives. This is often a accomplished in the context of strategic plan and this is primary factor guiding in investment in projects alignment with the organization strategic business goals can be achieved through the systematic program or portfolios programs and project through the application organization project management organization project management our organization project management is defined as framework with which pro program portfolio and management are integrated with organization enablers in order to achieve organizational organizational OPM OPM Organizational organizational project organizational project define as framework. So framework in which
portfolio program and project management and project in integrated with organization The purpose of OPM is ensure the organization undertakes the right project and allocates critical resources appropriately uh, the, to ensure the purpose. Mm. The purpose. The purpose. to ensure that the organization that the organization organization undertakes takes the right project the right project project and allocates critical 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 resources appropriately OPM is also help to ensure all the levels of organization understand the strategic vision initiative, the support and the vision of the objectives and the deliverables, figure 1 to 4, and organization object environment, where strategy portfolio programs, projects, operation interact. And now, so it says also here. So the purpose, it says here, the purpose ensures it undertakes the right project. So you will see the organization charts here, environmental, review the adjustments, so strategy, portfolio, value decision, programs and projects, results, delivery, operations, business values. So portfolio to program, done from pro the result delivery goes to portfolio. Same with the value analysis in figure 1.4. 1 does for this program management. 1.2 does for components of the guide. There's a lot more. Components of the guide. So start with the 1.2. Components of the guide. Project component comprise several key components that when effective management result in their successful completion this guide identifies and explains these components the various components interrelate to one another during the management of the project the key components are described briefly in 1.3 these components are more fully Explain in sections that follows the table. So there's a table I can share you. So this is part one. So we'll continue this one hour. We're on page 55. So we'll continue later. So we got one hour and 14 minutes recorded. Thank you for listening. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe.
Click the bell button and share this video. And don't forget to comment also and like. Comments I can I um I'm open for criticism. I'm not good in English, but I can deliver, I can speech, I can explain how's the project and this is it. Mm, happy viewing. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.